Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain model showcase. This time I have some Games Workshop Tyranid models. This is the new Toxicrine kit, which makes these Toxicrine guys, these Zonthropes, and in the back there are two of these, I can't remember the name of them, uh, I'm not going to try. I don't remember the name of those special guys with the big heads and the things on the back there. So. I did these guys up for Mini Wargaming's Tyranid Army. There is three of these, uh, I just called them Toxicrines, and seven of the Zonthropes, and two of the guys that I can't remember their names. So I will get a few of these guys on uh, my little spinny guy, for you can see see them all up close they were just airbrushed up and then hand painted to match the rest of uh, Mini Wargaming Matt's uh, army they have exposed brains in the back which were hit with Minotaur's uh, fresh blood and purple ghost tints um, same thing with around the edges of these uh, sacks up here and then they were hit with a uh, thin down sepia wash at the end. So I will grab just probably about uh, three or four of them, and stick them on my spinny guy, and we'll get a closer look at them. So first, let's check out this uh, guy that I don't know his name. They are kind of cooler models. I uh, took the liberty of uh, adding a little bit of extra red parts to the back spine there just to make it uh, a little bit different instead of just being all uh, the general uh, skin colors there but these guys are really cool models they kind of like remind me of uh, a rhinoceros with their front horn there but uh, I really like the paint scheme and uh, let's check out some more of these dudes Next up, we have one of the seven Zonthropes. They're pretty much all the same. Uh, there is a little bit of variety in their brains as I was spraying the red and purples in different spots. And it is a bit of a transparent paint, so you can see some of the skin tones underneath, but then it really looks like a brain. Did a little bit of dry brushing over top of that. And let's go check out the Toxicree. Lastly, we have the Toxicrine. I'm pretty sure the box kit is actually called the Toxicrine box kit. And they have these big uh, sacks on the top of their carapace, and then they have all these uh, whippy coils coming out. Uh, it took a little bit longer to paint as they had more uh, green parts to pick out, more claws to pick out and whatnot, and then I had to come back on the carapace and uh, fix up some of the work with that uh, uh, the sacks on the top there, but that's okay. Other than that, these guys are really cool models on the table. Uh, I'm not sure how they work at all, but uh, they just look cool on the table is what I'm, what I'm saying. So I will get a full set of pictures of all these guys up on my Facebook page. A link to that will be in the description. If you are interested in any custom terrain or miniature painting commissions, you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com and I'll get back to you with a quote. For the rest of this year, 2014, I am having a 15% off all my work for a holiday special. So if you're interested in getting in on that, I can get you a discount on my work. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy wargaming.